Thing one tonight, the more that Trump continues to attack the city of Baltimore as a place where no human would want to live, we're getting more and more stories about the landlords. Last night, we introduced you to Kushnerville, the Baltimore housing owned by Jared Kushner and his family, where one tenant said she had a mouse infestation that was severe enough that her 12-year-old daughter recently found one in her bed. Today, a reminder of a story about another housing complex outside, outside Baltimore, this one owned by Fred Trump, that would be the president's father, 40 years ago. This story is pretty mind-blowing. The Washington Post reports the conditions there were so horrendous that federal officials asked Trump to come down and meet them in person. And when Trump got there, he was arrested and, to his outrage, briefly jailed. Fred Trump was accused of subjecting black tenants to poor conditions just a year after settling a lawsuit with the federal government, which alleged the Trump Organization refused to rent to African Americans. But that's just how Fred Trump made his money, and he gave all that money to Donald Trump. So whose side do you think he's on? Trump's awful behavior does not go completely without consequences in polite society, and that's thing two in 60 seconds. <laughs> Trump spent the first part of his day once again attacking Elijah Cummings and lying about the people of Baltimore before leaving for an event commemorating the 400th anniversary of Virginia's first legislative assembly, where he was met by a member of the Virginia House in the audience. Right here in Virginia, your predecessors. Ibrahim Samir, a Palestinian-American dentist who this year became the second Muslim to be elected to the Virginia House of Delegates, said he protested because he found Trump's presence in the state insulting. But that was only the first uninvited guest to Trump's speech. The man so concerned with what he calls Baltimore's infestation seems to have brought an extra attendee along with him. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.